Okay, let's see what this thing's made of. Holy... Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the all new Audi RS6 Avant, which is actually a dream car for me. So, I guess we're gonna see if it lives up to the hype that I have in my mind. But before we get into the video, a huge shout out and thank you to the strong Audi here in Salt Lake City, Utah, for giving me some time with this RS6. This one is available for sale for the time being. So, if you're interested, I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below. If you have any questions or need any help whatsoever, just ask for Landon. And then, on a side note, if you save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo 4 liter V8 that goes through an 8 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 22 on the highway with power puts being 591 horsepower and then 590 pound feet of torque. And I'm just going to say this right now this engine is very, very tunable. Now, before we go to the front end, I do want to mention if you see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood here, you guys can see we have really aggressive lines with the RS6, and I think it looks so cool, especially in this gray. And then coming down below, you guys can see these signature LED daytime run lights there with the headlights. Everything's blacked out because this has the black optics package. And then I love that little kind of like vent piece there. I don't know. I think it looks good. And when you put it all together, I mean, the RS6 just means business. Now coming on the side here, our time wheel setup is 285, 30, 22 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here with the wheel design, I think it's pretty funky overall. And then notice we've got the RS logo there on the black brake caliper. And this is where you can see that cool wagon design. So there's actually some like blacked out ground effect action happening there at the bottom. You can notice the mirror cap is blacked out and then some of the trim around the windows is also blacked out. So here's a key fob for the RS6. You guys can see you got the RS logo there on the back. We have our lock function, the opening here for the hatch, and then our unlock function. We'll press that a couple times and it'll pop right open. And this is exactly why you get the RS6. This is absolutely enormous when it comes to storage space. We've got the cargo cover already built in and you have these little latches to actually throw down the seats. And you guys can see the one section is thrown down. So like, I mean, this thing is huge. And underneath, you got even more storage as well. But yeah, I mean, you've got SUV practicality in the back here. Then when you're all done, just press that and to lower the hatch right back down. Now the RS6 has really cool taillights here. You guys can see with the sequential fashion. And then notice our badges back here are also all blacked out and look how massive these exhaust tips are. And then you got parking sensors here at the bottom and then look at that fuser too. And you know what, putting it all together with like the wide body appearance with those aggressive exhaust tips and everything, this is such a good looking vehicle. What's the keyless entry? Here's the door panel in the rear. First off, we have a sunshade here for the rear passengers. And then look at the leather trim here. And then you got like the carbon fiber down below. And then the Alcantara and more leather. Fit and finish is absolutely fantastic too. And then here are the seats in the back or seat rather because the other ones are folded down. Notice the RS logo there. And then look at the design there on the seat itself. And then here's the leg room in the back. You guys can also see we have the little netting here for storage and... We got climate controls here for the rear passengers. I also have heated seats in the back as well, so pretty fancy. And then headroom's also amazing back here. And if I weren't already sold in this car, I think this just sold it even more. You got a sunroof for the back passengers. That's cool. Now here is the front door panel. Look at the beautiful leather trim yet again. And then you guys can see with the carbon fiber and then like the Alcantara and more leather. It looks fantastic. All of our window controls here with our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. You also have memory seat functionality built in. And then we do have blind spot monitoring for the mirrors. And then here's the front seat again with the RS logo there. And then look at the perforated leather in the center. Really cool design. Power adjustments on the side. And then we have our RS6 badge right there. Really cool looking pedals and dead pedal as well. And then you guys can see the power adjustment for the steering wheel. And then you get the light controls just up above. Now here is the steering wheel for the RS6. Really nice leather trim all around. And then notice how it's got the golf ball texture on the sides and get a slightly better grip. Paddle shifters there on the back for that eight speed automatic transmission. And then it's got like our phone controls, volume controls, voice command controls. We have our controls for the center stack there on the other side. And then we do have our RS mode button here on the steering wheel as well. And then we have our turn signal stock, cruise control stock, windshield wiper stock. 
So we've got Audi's full digital gauge cluster, which is super customizable and frankly just looks fantastic. My favorite thing is like the navigation screen, how you can just like do that and it's like, boom, <laughs> in your face. Um, but you also have some cool animations. So again, if I press that like RS button, notice that we've got like the little runway style animation here for the RPMs, which is really cool. Um, but again, you can change, like if I press the uh, view button, it'll kind of change how everything looks. So like now that's what the view looks like with the change. So I don't know, really cool gauge cluster, really customizable. Now in reverse, we have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And you guys can kind of see that whole setup. We have that bird's eye view as well. And just like other Audi models, we have this cool 360 view um, on the outside. And you can also just pull this tab open to see other views. So when it comes to a camera system, I mean, it doesn't really get any better than this. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, I guess we'll go over the drive modes first because that is what's pulled up here. We have a Comfort Auto Dynamic, and again, you have the RS1 and RS2. And because this is an RS6, you've got the air suspension as well. It'll raise and lower depending on what drive mode you go in, and that should also help out with ride quality quite a bit. Now, it's got the uh, click function turned on, so you have to like actually like physically like click into the buttons for anything to like happen. Um, but response time with that's great, and response time with the infotainment system is great, and I like the integration into the dash. And then we also have the bottom screen here with the RS6. So you guys can see we've got our shortcut buttons for like the heated and cooled seats. This does have a dual zone climb system for the front. And then you got other stuff like to turn off the screen, for example, your auto stop sort of if you want to turn that off as well. And then you got some controls for like the drive mode, select like stability control, and then some stuff for the climb system at the bottom. We got our cool red engine stop start button. And that's for like your parking assist. That's for your safety tech and then your volume control. Now this is a little bit embarrassing. I called this carbon fiber earlier, but now that I'm looking at it in different light, I don't think that's actually carbon fiber. But anyways, we have the shifter for the 8-speed automatic transmission, and then you got your parking brake right here. Again, it has a manual mode, a couple cup holders, and then, well, we've got a center console with a wireless phone charging pad, some USBs. Boom. Heads-up display, and then beautiful leather dash here, and then you guys can see the trim that is not carbon fiber that kind of looks like carbon fiber from a distance if you're blind and named Ben. Um, but we also have a glove box lined with felt, and you guys can see a really nice handle on it. And then up top here, you got the controls for the center situation. So again, we've got the double center situation. Pretty cool. Now, when it comes to pricing, most dealers pretty much load up their RS6 orders, and so you're usually going to see them have a sticker price of around $140,000. Let's see how this drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood, and hopefully you can see the heads-up display, both of the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Well, we are still in the parking lot. This is pretty cool with the RS monitor, where it shows me everything that's happening with the car. Yeah, that's that's pretty fancy stuff, but we're actually gonna have it on the drive mode select. So we're starting in auto mode, um, which, you know, should be, actually, let's do in comfort. Let's see if that, actually makes it like super comfortable because again this is supposed to be a dual personality type vehicle it's supposed to be able to have like insane performance but then also be extremely comfortable so let's see if we can do the comfort thing first and then we'll see if it can do the performance thing uh second now first off what i want to mention is um this thing is pretty big actually it's like this is this is a big car like you you actually can feel it quite a bit um i think this thing weighs like almost five thousand pounds and i i definitely believe it but you know with stuff like the adaptive suspension and all that it, it does help out quite a bit oh yeah going over stuff it's not too bad i mean you do feel the fact that this does have uh, slightly larger sized wheels. Um, that's the thing about uh, cars that have air suspension like this and really big wheels. Like the air suspension kind of minimizes the harshness, but it doesn't fully get rid of it because when you go over bumps, right? When you have a low profile tire, tire rather, with you know a really large wheel, you're gonna get a little bit of harshness. However, when you're just on smooth pavement, this thing, this thing's a luxury car. It is super, super smooth. And, you know, obviously Audi can't really go too small with the wheels because of how big the brake rotors are, especially in the front. I mean, this thing has like insanely large rotors, but I mean, that's just kind of par for the course with a super heavy high performance vehicle like this. Man, this would be so nice to commute in. The seat comfort's amazing. Um, power's great. Like it's just, 
it's just it's snappy I'm gonna pop it into the auto mode and see how that kind of changes things up a bit and it's really quiet too like um i know that we have this big push for evs um, because you know it's it's the future with efficiency and then also it makes cars drive better right but what i will say is i don't think you can beat like a big engine like this again turbocharged v8 like there's so much low-end torque that it's just and it's it's pretty quiet frankly in this mode with the valves closed and everything like I hear a little bit of engine noise, but it's not bad noise. It's like low V8 grumble, or rumble rather, not grumble. I don't know why I say grumble, but yeah, I really like it so far, actually. The only thing I will say is, yeah, those, that's the only downside about, the, I mean, it's, I feel like it's an upside and downside. Like the wheels look amazing, but yeah, I mean, if you, if somehow you could get like smaller wheels on this with a little bit more sidewall on the tires, I'm not talking about an insane amount to where you turn this into like an off-road vehicle, but enough to where <laughs> it would just get a, get rid of a little bit. But I mean, in terms of high performance vehicles, this has to be one of the most comfortable. I mean, I don't know of anything else that quite is, is quite as comfortable as this. It's actually pretty impressive. Um, so we'll actually put it into the dynamic setting. Actually, you know what? We'll do the RS2 because the RS2 looks pretty cool. It's it. it oh, limited limited stability. Good thing we got Quattro though, right? Audi's Quattro system is really good. You can definitely hear things quite a bit more. Um, it's a little bit louder with the exhaust. I'm gonna pop in the manual mode. Ooh, this transmission's snappy. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. That is for sure. Yeah, you can just, now with the valves, so before it just idled and you wouldn't really hear much, but now with the valves open, I mean, it's it's got this nice V8 grumble. Can't get that in EV, folks. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Super quick with the shifts. I mean, super quick. Really aggressive too. It's still really smooth in this uh, RS2 setting little bit harsher but really smooth overall okay let's see what this thing's made of holy i almost swore i, I don't swear on this channel there's no swearing from ben hardy but holy crap wow oh my goodness this thing's a monster i understand why people like Oh my gosh. Yeah, I understand why people love this car so much. This thing. And there's there's the uh, AMG wagon, by the way. Maybe I should go over to the Porsche dealer and be like, hey, let's do a comparison. Um, probably probably say no to me. But anyways, um, this thing's awesome. I am in love with this. Uh, does it live up to the hype? I think that's the big question. Um, the interior's there. Super nice interior. And it's, man... I don't have anything, I, honestly, I don't have anything bad to say about it. Um, the interior quality is there. Okay, so uh, as I was saying before I got uh, distracted, I was kind of like just spaced out because I, I don't know, I like this car so much, I'm, I'm having fun. Um, let's, see how, let's see how it parks. Cause it's a, it's a long car. I mean, this thing's almost as long as like, uh, I think it's like almost as long as like some full size SUVs pretty much. But with the camera system, does this have rear steer? I'll double check the uh, window sticker on this, but I, it feels like it might at these low speeds. Yeah, cause that, I mean, that, that's, I feel like that's turning into the parking space way better than expected. Um, but anyways, interior is amazing. It drives amazing. It's super comfortable. It does everything. Um, I think it's, I think it's worth the hype. Like this is such a nice car. I'm so impressed with this, honestly. I understand why Doug Jamiro and all the other guys are obsessed with these fast wagons because it, it really does do it all. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this RS6. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the strong Audi here in Salt Lake City, Utah for giving me some time with this RS6. Check out their inventory in the description down below. Ask for Landon if you have any questions. I'll see ya.